In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through how to set up your gamification and rewards inside of your Go High Level community. I'll define how gamification works, help you name and set up your gamification levels, and if you stick around, I'll even give you some reward ideas and show you exactly which levels you should assign them to. If you follow the steps in this video, you can have your own gamification and reward system set up today in under 30 minutes. Once you have this system set up, you're going to have everything you need to incentivize your members to engage and create a community that your members love and never want to leave. What's up, y'all? I'm Ron Medlin, and I help online coaches build six-figure lifestyle businesses using content and communities. And in every one of my videos, it's my goal to give you one actionable step that you can take right now and you can implement to get you closer to your income goals this year. If you'd like to get access to our Community Launch Secrets course, where I take you step-by-step -step through how to launch a brand new community and get your first 100 members in just 10 days, I'm going to drop a link in the description so you can join our community and get access. Now, let's log into our high-level demo account, and I'm going to walk you step-by-step -step through how to set up gamification and rewards for your community. So I'm now logged into my high level account. And from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to memberships on the left hand side here. You're gonna click on that. You're going to click on the drop down under communities and click on group. That's going to take you to all your communities. And then you can log in to the community that you want to set up your gamification for. Let's now head over to the leaderboard and let's walk through gamification. So here's where you can find the full breakdown of the different levels of your mem that your members can actually unlock. Each member can identify what level they're currently at by checking the number on the bottom right of their profile image here and also below their name in the leaderboard tab. They can see how many points they need to unlock each level right here this gives you a full breakdown of all the points and all the levels associated with those points you can see that the first few levels are fairly easy to unlock to about probably level five here and then there's a significant jump to level six and a much bigger jump from levels to level seven and then there's a huge jump to level eight and then Level nine is probably unreachable for the most part. Once your members start accumulating points, you'll actually start to see who has the most points for the past seven days. You'll see who has the most points for the past 30 days, and then you'll see all, your all-time leaders. So this is gonna be super helpful if you like run competitions to help you easily track your winners each month or each week, however you do that. To find and edit your gamification and rewards settings, you can either do it from the leaderboard tab here by clicking this little button here, and that'll pop up the gamification and rewards rewards directly or you can go back to the discussion tab and you can click on settings and then you can go to the gamification and rewards tab here so let's actually walk through this the first thing that you're going to do is we're actually going to set up your levels you would just expand the gamification piece and this will show all of your levels and then you can come in here you can edit the name here and you can give each of these levels a name when you're naming your levels you want to try to align them with the identity that your communities you want your communities to take on so now i'm currently let me open up my school inside of my school if i go to my leaderboard my free community is called community builders free and then the goal of that community is to help coaches and course creators launch their communities and get their first 100 members. The identity that I want my community members to take on and embody is being a community builder. I name my levels to kind of align with this identity. So you can see that for level one, ditch digger, that's kind of the lowest level. The bricklayer, you've got the carpenter, you've got the craftsman, the builder, the engineer, chief engineer, expert builder, and master builder. So you can see as you go up the levels, you get a more distinguished level name. Think about what identity that you want your community members to take on and then align your levels around that. I'm also a huge fan of humor. I've seen a lot of communities use humor with these levels. So if you can make it funny, then I'm all for that. To help you come up with the ideas, I actually created a chat GPT prompt. And if you'd like to get access to this prompt, you can find it inside of our community setup checklist. I'll drop the link in the description so you can join our community and access that checklist. Let's walk through this prompt real quick and let me show you how I kind of refined it as I went to help me to name my levels. Hi, chat, chat GPT. I have an online community that has gamification feature where members unlock certain rewards as they engage and unlock levels. There are nine levels and the first is the lowest level, nine being the highest level. I'm trying to come up with names for each level that basically align with the identity members that achieve each level and body. The level ones have the lower valued identity versus level nine, which I want to give a higher value identity. The name of the community is Community Builders. It focuses on helping people launch and scale their online communities to help them build a six or even seven figure lifestyle business from it. Can you help me name these levels? That's the prompt I use. This is the first iteration of what they gave me. So 
it was okay. I didn't love it. Initiate, builder, aspiring, emerging, dedicated. I wanted it to be more aligned with building. So then I asked it, hey, can you give me three more ideas? And then it came back with some other ideas. This was the same as the first set of ideas. This was like growth based. I kind of like this direction a little bit more. And then we had achievement base. These are good, but they just didn't really align with the building theme. And I said, can we keep them related to building something? So I'm just having a conversation back and forth with ChatGPT here. So there's building theme, the same thing as the original output. And then they went into the construction theme. Hey, foundation layer, brick layer, uh, framework builder, structure. So they're getting closer, but I still didn't like the names here. And then they went into craftsmanship theme. So this is definitely starting to get more towards what I like. So apprentice, journeyman, craftsman, builder, artisan, master craftsman, grand builder, chief engineer. I didn't... I don't know if these actually mean anything, but I like the direction of this. So then I said, I like set three. Let's just focus on that one and then rename six through eight. And then it gave me a last set. And then I just kind of made my own changes to this. So that's how I use this uh, chat GPT prompt to come up with my levels. All right. So once you've settled on the names of your different levels, now it's time to actually go into your community and create the level name. So to do that, I'm going to head back to my community and then I'm going to go to gamification and rewards. I'm going to expand the gamification set Section, and then I'm going to start to name my level. So I'm going to click on the edit button and I'm going to just add in some of these names. I'm not going to add all nine of them, but you'll get the picture. So the first one is going to be apprentice and then I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to click edit again and that's going to be journeyman and then I'm going to hit save again, edit by level three and then that's going to be craftsman. You can get the, you get the picture. So then once I've named all of my levels, I'm going to close this. Once we have our levels, the next step is to start to choose the rewards that we want to offer at each level. Obviously, the higher the level, the higher the value of the rewards going to be. So you want to try to map out your rewards ahead of time if possible so that your members know exactly how to unlock a reward from the start and then what they can unlock at each level. And that's going to get them really excited about engaging the community and leveling up to get these great rewards. So I've researched tons of different communities on school and luckily a few of the reward ideas I'm going to share with you are pretty easy to fulfill. So you don't have to worry about creating some big elaborate course or anything like that. It's a lot simpler than you might think. So let's walk through a few of our ideas for your rewards in order of priority and the different levels that you're, we're going to assign to those rewards. And so you can start to map out your reward system from the start. Now, as of July 2024, high level only allows you to create three rewards and then you can't really assign those two levels yet. I'm sure down the road, that's going to be fixed. Not sure exactly when it's going to be released. So it's a little bit clunky right now, but let's walk through all nine levels and different rewards that you can think about. If you join our community, I'll drop them into the setup checklist. So first on the list for level one is group coaching calls. So group coaching calls are a great way to add value to your membership to help you help you retain your members longer also. But I suggest making your members work for this a little bit to gain access to these calls. We want them to prove that they're going to be invested in the program and also be engaged in them as a a member in your community. So group coaching calls are a great reward for like a level two to make it really easy to unlock, but also make them work just a little bit, just enough to get access to those. So I'm going to come in here and create a reward. I'm going to click add reward and then I'm going to do group coaching calls and you can call these whatever you want. I'm just going to make this really simple. And then just so you know what we're doing, I'm going to do this as level two and then you'll give it a description. So make, so make these look really sexy. So to our exclusive weekly coaching sessions where you'll get personalized help on X, whatever you help them with, okay? So that's gonna be our level two reward. Next on the list, I really like for level three, the monthly workshop. These add a ton of value in your community. People are gonna want them because you're gonna do, basically what you're doing each month is you're hosting a live workshop where you're gonna go deep on a single step or topic from your overall program. And so maybe even you help them implement that step in the process. Let's actually click the plus button here and then we're gonna say monthly. I'm just gonna say monthly workshop VIP. This is gonna be a level three. Get a VIP ticket to our monthly deep dive workshops where we focus on, on helping you implement a single step in our 
process. All right, so monthly workshops are a great level three. So a model that I really like around these workshops is basically you're gonna give your paid members a VIP free ticket to these workshops and then you're gonna sell these workshops to non-members that are on your list or they follow you on social media and these workshops are gonna be around a specific topic and that people might be interested in and that's gonna help you to create customers so that you can easily convert those people into either your paid community or your high ticket program. So monthly workshops are a great level three reward. The next reward idea is gonna be an additional course or course bundle. So these are another great level three or four reward. Now I wouldn't hold anything back from your your initial course material that you promised your to get your members to buy. But if you have some additional courses laying around that really complement your core program well, then I would offer these as a reward that they can unlock once they reach level four. So I'm gonna click on the button here and I'm gonna do course bundle and you can you know name it whatever it's gonna be. You can maybe uh, secret course bundles to make it a little bit more mysterious or you can actually tell them exactly what it is, especially if it's something that they really are gonna want. Get instant access to this special course bundle previously sold for 5k and so this is going to be level four like i said as of now those are the only you can only add three bundles in here or three rewards in here so and you can't assign them to any level so it's a little clunky but let's continue to go through some of the additional um, ideas that you could use for level for the different levels. So since we can't create any other rewards, I'm just going to delete all these and then I'm going to continue to go through the additional rewards. Next on our list is exclusive merchandise. Now I'm a little bit on the fence with this one. I know there's a lot of people out there that love this kind of stuff and get really excited about it. I will say that merchandise is a cool way to build your brand and also to help your members really start to embody that identity that you want them to take on. Done right, this can be a great level five reward. So let's actually click on add reward and let's type in exclusive merchandise. And then this is going to be level five and we're going to say get our exclusive shirts and hats only available to our most engaged members. Click save. Now, next on the list is VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching for more personalized help. Your time is valuable, so you want to position these one-on-one -on -one calls with you as exclusive VIP experiences. Remember, there's a fairly significant leap from level five to level six. This reward at level six will incentivize and motivate people that are interested in getting more of your help to actually engage in the community so they can get that 60-minute call with you, that one-on-one -on -one and personalized VIP experience. So let's add that to our next level. So I'm gonna say level six here, and then we're gonna do a VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Get a 60-minute one-on-one coaching call with Ron to get personalized help on offer creation, traffic, and monetization, let's say. VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching calls for level six. Now, level seven and above becomes a much more difficult level to achieve, so make these rewards highly valuable. One idea that I've seen multiple times in level seven is the ability to actually come and spend a day with you or visit your headquarters where you actually fly them out and spend an entire day with you, working with them. Obviously, if you don't have a office yet, and then maybe you don't wanna do this, but I think it's a great level. It's gonna take a lot of time for people to um, access that level. So it's a great reward. So let's actually do visit our headquarters. Spend a entire day with Ron and his team focused entirely on growing your business. So now we're at level seven. Again, we can't create more than three, so let's delete these and let's go for level eight and level nine. A good level eight, because level eight is very difficult to get to, is free lifetime access to everything. You only give your most dedicated fans the ability to unlock the free lifetime access to your community and bonuses or tools and resources that you've created or white labeled that you can easily give access to without costing you anything. So this type of reward is reserved for only your highest levels, so level eight and above. So we're gonna do level eight, free, lifetime access unlock free lifetime access 
to to our full force library and go high level account forever. That's a great level eight or level nine reward. Now it's highly doubtful that anybody is ever going to achieve level nine in your community. So you can either just leave that out or you can do something really silly if that's your culture. I know the old level nine for school community was that you actually get kicked out of the community. So I thought that was pretty funny. Or you can just make it something ridiculously, insanely valuable, but I wouldn't overthink level nine. Again, most people are, or probably nobody is ever going to achieve that. So now you have your gamification and rewards set up and you're ready to incentivize your members to engage in your community. So what's next? Well, next is you actually have to make sure that they see this. So I did a previous video on community onboarding. I'll, I'll drop a link in the description. So be sure to watch that video. In it, I actually talk about creating a start here course in your classroom to share how your gamification works, show them the awesome rewards that they can unlock at each level. Start to train your members on how to become a valuable part of the community and engage in the community. Now, if you want access to our Community Launch Secrets course, where I show you step-by-step -step how to launch a brand new community and get your first 100 members in just 10 days, then I'm going to drop a link in the description where you can join our community and get access to that course. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.